Hi, I'm Michael Ralph, and today we're going to be looking at blackworm pulse rates. You're going to need everything you see right here, including blackworms, capillary tubes, and pipettes. The first thing we're going to need to do is get our blackworms out of the culture and into a container from which we can work with them. What I recommend doing is getting a petri dish and filling it with some of the water from the blackworm culture. Take care not to use DI or distilled water because you could end up bursting your blackworms. Once you get a few milliliters of the solution into your petri dish, take your pipette and obtain a blackworm. Remember that they like to hide underneath cover, but if you look hard enough, eventually you should find one. And squirt your blackworm into their new transport puddle. The next step is going to be moving the blackworm from their puddle into a capillary tube. Capillary tubes are typically sold in longer portions, but if you cut them in half, usually they only need to end up being three or four centimeters long to be useful. From here, you need to suck up your blackworm again into your pipette with some water, and there's no trick to it, it's just a matter of squirting from your pipette into the capillary tube. If you're careful and you practice, eventually you should get your blackworm squirted into the capillary tube where it's trapped somewhere along the length of this tube. Again, this is a little bit of a tricky procedure, so be sure you practice, and as you're practicing, remember to squirt over your puddle so that if or when you miss, they don't spill out onto the table where they can dry out. Your next step, once you have the blackworm in the tube, is to observe the heart rate. Remember, they don't have a heart, but they do have a pulse, and they're translucent, which so they can be viewed from a microscope. So take your blackworm in the tube, take it to any microscope that you may have in your lab, and place it right on the stage. From here, you can focus in and locate that pulse, which will look like a squeezing going from side to side. And as you choose a spot, you can count every time that section contracts, and so is one pulse. From here, you can experiment with any number of variables, including stimulants, depressants, effects of light, temperature, or anything else you can think of. Good luck.